Hey you guys, it's your girl Jade and I'm back again in the kitchen. So I was hungry and I wanted to make some peanut butter pancakes but I don't have any pancake mix. So I'm going to try to make some from scratch. And I ended up looking online for a recipe and somehow I came across a recipe that said Rosa Parks used to eat pancakes, peanut butter pancakes. And this is her recipe. This is crazy, ain't it? So let me show you what the recipe is. So, um, instead about a cup of flour, so I used this protein powder, flour I meant. I don't have any um, baking powder. So yesterday when I was looking some stuff up, I saw that baking soda mixed with apple cider vinegar is a good substitute for baking powder if you don't have it. So I put a little baking soda in there and it also said some sugar. So it said mix this stuff together. And the next part of the recipe calls for milk. So I didn't have any real milk because I really don't even like milk. I don't. But I had this powdered milk so I just whipped it up real quick. Simple. It called for an egg. I don't have any eggs so I'm just going to drop in a little applesauce. And then of course oil and my peanut butter. So I'll be right back you guys. I'm going to add this oil of course. Only a teaspoon. So I'm just going to whip it up real quick using this butter knife because I feel like it. <laughs> Well, I actually do have a spoon right here. Like a spoon. And then after I mix this, then I'm going to mix it all in there. So I'm mixing you guys, but it's pretty watery. So this is not how I want my pancakes. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be this water. So I'm just going to add a little more flour. Simple. So you guys, I'm staring, I'm staring, and I got it nice and thick. But I added way more flour, and I added more peanut butter. I have to say, you guys, I would prefer to use crunchy peanut butter, but I didn't have any, so I had to use cream. Heartbreaking. We got the first one going, going. Results of the first one. I had trouble flipping it. So, yeah, this is what happened. But I think the flame was up too high for one. <laughs> and I should have put a little more butter in the pan. So, we'll see how number two goes. But I'm still going to eat this one. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm still going to eat it. So this time I actually used butter. The first time I only sprayed the pan. So okay, let's get it. Butter. Let's get it. I really thought I didn't have no butter, y'all, for real. But thank goodness I found some in the fridge. But while I wait for the good pancake, let's try the burnt one. It's mad light and fluffy. So it's super light, super fluffy. So when I get it right. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, we got our next pancake. It's kind of dark, but that's how I like my pancakes anyway. But yeah, peanut butter, peanut butter. So we're gonna keep this thing going. I do realize they're probably just coming out dark because of the pan I'm using too, but it's no biggie. And don't be over there looking crazy, acting bougie. bougie. Like, ooh, she likes her um, pancakes burnt. It's so many people in the world that like their pancakes a little dark. And I should know, I used to work the brunch at Soul Vegetarian, and people used to request all the time, can I have my pancakes dark or burnt? So they are absolutely delicious. <laughs> We've been in this role for quite some time now. I'm getting the hang of it. But I'm ready to eat my pancakes. So I'm going to have some honey on top of mine. Alright. See you guys later. After I eat my pancakes. Y'all for real? These pancakes are good. Rosa Prox. I know you probably laugh at me and everything. Because I burnt a few of your pancakes. But they are light. And they are fluffy. And they are just the way I like them. Thank you so much. <laughs>